to Ebony Ganna. I'm a nutrition educator with East Feliciana and East Baton Rouge parishes representing Southern University Ag Center. And my topic today is food safety during natural disasters. We are all too familiar with hurricanes being that we live in Louisiana. Preparation is key to keeping loved ones safe, but also knowledge on food safety can help keep them healthy as well. If you are in a disaster or emergency, it is important that you take steps to prevent illnesses from unsafe food. Today, I will be discussing the ABCDs of food safety in emergency situations and provide tips. Following four simple tips, simple steps can prevent, can help protect you and your loved ones from food poisoning. So we have these four simple steps, clean, separate, cook, and chill. And I'm going to go into detail with these um, steps. Clean, germs that can cause food poisoning can survive in many places and spread around the kitchen. Make sure that you wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water before, during, and after preparing food and before eating. Wash your hands, utensils, cutting boards, and countertops with hot soapy water. Rinse fresh fruits and vegetables under running water. Step two, separate. Don't cross contaminate. Raw meat poultry, seafood, and eggs can spread germs to ready to eat foods unless you keep them separate. Use separate cutting boards for raw meat, poultry, and seafood. When grocery shopping, keep raw meat, poultry, seafood, and their juices away from other foods. Also keep these foods separate from other foods in your refrigerator as well. Cook. Step three, make sure that food is safely cooked when the internal temperature gets high enough to kill germs that can make you sick. Use food thermometers to determine internal temperatures of food is correct. Step four, chill, refrigerate properly. Make sure that your refrigerator is at 40 degrees or below, refrigerate perishable perishable food within two hours, and then make sure that you thaw frozen food safely in the refrigerator in cold water or in the microwave. Never thaw food on the counter because bacteria can multiply quickly. ABCDs of food safely. safety. Always keep meat, poultry, fish, and eggs refrigerated at or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit and frozen food at or below zero degrees Fahrenheit. Be prepared for an emergency by having items on hand that don't require refrigeration. Consider that you can all, that you can, consider what you can do ahead of time to store your food safely in an emergency. Digital dial or instant red thermometer, thermometers will help you know if your food is at a safe temperature. And always remember, when in doubt, throw it out. So these are some items for an emergency food kit. Ready to eat canned meats, fruits, vegetables, and a can opener is always useful in, a, in an emergency food kit. Protein or fruit bars, dry cereal or granola, peanut butter, dried fruit, canned juices, non-perishable pasteurized milk, bottled water, and also food for infants. Did you know the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that each year roughly one out of six Americans get sick? 128,000 are hospitalized and about 3,000 die from foodborne illnesses. The refrigerator will keep your food cold for about four hours if unopened. A full freezer 
will keep the temperature for approximately 48 hours if the door remains closed. Food may be safely refrozen if it still contains ice crystals or it is at 40 degrees or below. Use bottled water that can that has not been exposed to flood floodwaters if available. So a lesson review. Make sure that you prepare an emergency food supply. When in doubt, throw it out. Keep the refrigerator and freezer doors closed as much as possible and make sure when handling food, always wash or sanitize your hands. So my lesson challenge. Now, after learning more about food safety during disasters, I challenge you to prepare before, during, and after a natural disaster. Most natural disasters are unpredictable, but with the information and tips provided can help in these situations. Food safety is important and so is your health. So again, my name is Ebony Gana. I'm a nutrition educator with East Baton Rouge and East Feliciana parishes representing Southern University Ag Center. Again, today my topic was food safety during natural, natural disasters. I hope everyone is doing okay and they get my tips and use them during the natural disasters. Everyone have a great day.